Good afternoon, Miss Kim. How are you today? Good today. How about you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I am feeling very good right now. <laughs> nothing, nothing bad happened. Um, it's just that it has been a quite stressful week for me. So you know. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So right. Um. So. Okay, so have you have you look at the old lesson, unit twenty? Yep. Okay, so before we go to check your homework in unit twenty, uh, I would like to ask: Is there anything you want to ask me about your daily uses of English? Mình có câu hỏi gì về cái việc sử dụng tiếng Anh thường ngày không nhỉ? I forgot. Oh, you forgot? Really? <laughs> I always have film. Few questions, then uh, after that, I, I forgot. <laughs> right. Okay, so remember, try to note down all the questions you want to ask me, and then next time I will answer to you, okay? Right. Uh, I hope that you will feel... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, last time you texted me, you told me that you have something to do uh, from... December first to December fifth, right? Uh, are you going travel? Are you going to travel? A uh, kind of traveling, but this is like a cruise to nowhere. We call it a a cruise to nowhere. Really? <laughs> so you're going on a cruise ship? Yeah. <gasps> oh my and, god! Uh, and and the uh, like we just normally the cruise will stop by like other country for us to get down and have a look but now the cruise just have to drive around the sea and cannot get down to other country oh so you will stay on the sea like for five days straight yeah. oh that that sounds a little too bad huh i mean like if you can stop at one country and then you can go visit that country it will be better right Yeah, last time the idea is uh, you can stop at the other country and you can get down, do some shopping or even can do some, um, like, um, we call it, kind of, um, how to say, jiao oh, uh, right. uh, Then we do the small food. But now can we cannot travel to anywhere, so only we only can stay in the cruise and uh, enjoy all the activities at the... Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, what are the most, uh, how to say, well-known activities on the boat, on the cruise ship? It's, um, it's many, many things like, um, like last time there, there are live band, but uh, now I, I don't uh, think they have live band. Uh, now they don't allow people to sing songs. So, wait, why? Have, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know why. Even the loud music also... Um, not allowed like yeah uh, um i don't know why they like that last time have a even have the disco in in the cruise but now they they, they don't open anymore uh now they have the swimming pool and um uh, many like sport small sport activities like uh wall climbing wall, wall climbing like rock climbing rock climbing, uh, rock, rock climbing yeah and um i don't know how to say that in in vietnam so in this also but that kind of mình 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 cầm cái cái cây và mình mình nhảy qua bên ở dưới là biển á, xong rồi nhảy từ thành tàu bên này qua thành tàu bên kia, nó nó đưa mình đi từ thành tàu bên này qua thành tàu bên kia kiểu oh, như vậy. It's, it's like a zip, it's like a zip something. I, I, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's called a zip line. I I will I will say zip line. And important that because um inside have a casino. The mini casino, so uh, like, yeah. I, I can enjoy that. <laughs> okay, so it is called so. So what you just described, I think it is called a zip line. So zip there, line. there, there will be there will be a, a kind of rope from one side yeah. to the other side, right? So you yeah. will, uh, you will grab on something like this, and then you yeah. will slide from this slide to the uh, other yeah. side. Ah, uh, so okay. yeah. Well, how how because it's in Vietnamese? Do <laughs> they? Is it? No. Is it? Uh, which, is, which is called either do they or zip line. <laughs> If I said in Google, do you? 
Are you gonna do dây mạo hiểm? Something like. Oh, yeah, correct. Uh, is it like yeah, do do dây yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do dây mạo hiểm. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's a high rope. Uh, so there is also a place in Dalat where you can enjoy the zip line uh, action like this. It is called high rope course, right? But uh, yeah, uh, high rope course. So so it is a name of uh, a name of a how do I say a, a theme park or something? A, a name of a of an entertainment place for for you to play zip line only. Oh yeah, so. We usually just call it zip line or do they mount him, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. And I know I know it sounds stupid when I said do they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, because I don't know how to say it even in the mix. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you don't need to uh, that that's the point of language. Like sometimes you don't need to uh have a, an, an exact translation. You still need to borrow the word from another language to describe it, right? Uh, for example, if that is something related to our culture, we would like to keep the original names. We don't want to have a, a exact translation uh, in like from other countries. Like, yeah. uh, how do how what what is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, something like that. Outside, so many many people just go for a noodle, the beef noodles. But then, yeah. uh, what some of us will think that oh, noodle is me. So why me? Is that me bo? Me bo is also another kind of uh, uh, food in Vietnam, right? So it is not appropriate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sometimes. Singapore, my husband when he order pho or bánh mì, he still call it pho or bánh mì. <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> Because if uh, because is it is something that we really appreciate in our culture, so we we don't like to uh, it, it, we don't like it to have a name in uh, another language, right? So it is the same for Singaporean food or culture. Like if you ask me, I would also call it in your like original name. It will be better. Mm -hmm. It sounds better. Sounds more special than something like uh, a sweet and sour meat. Soon have to go. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds better than that right yeah. okay right so you're going on a cruise ship for five days straight that sounds very interesting <laughs> right but uh like life on the sea uh for five days straight without stopping uh stopping anywhere uh sounds kind of dangerous for me i don't know <laughs> sounds kind of dangerous I feel it's normal because have some even have some crews they can go like half a month, one month. Mm, yeah. right. So to me, it's four four nights, five days is still okay. Uh, it's still okay. So, uh, have you ever been on a cruise ship like that before? Yeah, few times. Uh, a few times. Okay. So, which one was the longest? Which one was the longest? Uh, I from the day I take the. Cruise, same like only mm, the first time I took that the uh, they stopped in uh, in Kuala Lumpur ah. in Malaysia. Mm, uh, also for the for ah, the time I took that four days three nights. Four days and, uh, three nights. Yeah, and uh, the second time also the go to nowhere. Uh, last year, yeah, <laughs> then I feel like um, it's just normal. I, I don't feel anything like very special just because mm -hmm. I don't have anywhere to go. So. Okay, right. As long as you get to go outside and enjoy the yeah. view, well, you, you will feel happy. Okay, I see. Yeah. Right, so have you watched the video in Unit 20? Uh, unit 20? Yeah. Right, so I have five questions here for you. So can you help me answer them? Right, yeah. about the video, what did the security want to see first? The security wanted to see the ID and ticket first. That's right, okay, it's right here, right? Because this is this takes place at the security gate, so this is what the security want to see, ID and ticket. 
Okay, number two, what is the difference between check-in baggage and the hand baggage when you get on an airplane? I just had a research for this <laughs> The check-in baggage is must be checking at the airport and collected on arrival at the destination from baggage reclaim. Reclaim, reclaim. Reclaim. That's right. The hand baggage is usually carried in the cabin by the passenger. Mm, that's right. Okay, so to put it short, like check-in baggage, you put your baggage uh, at the counter. So they will uh, put all the luggage in, a, how do you say, in a room, in a separate room on the airplane, right? So when you arrive, you will uh, get to reclaim your baggage in the, re in the baggage reclaim counter. How about the hand baggage? You can carry the hand baggage uh, onto the airplane with you. Right, mm -hmm. and you will put it uh, on the overhead. Uh, how does it? Oh, it, it, it's somewhere. Where... <laughs> it's somewhere here. It, it is the overhead compartment. That's right, overhead compartment. So there, it's in down. Right, baggage reclaim. Can you say that? Baggage reclaim. Baggage reclaim. That's right. Okay. Right. So in the video, did the passenger want the window seat? No, he did not. He want the aisle seat. That's right. You remember the pronunciation. Very good. Right. So what did the passenger have to put on the tray? Tray here, la cái khay. He had to put his laptop and mobile phone on the tray. Very good. So did he have to collect them back after checking? Yeah, he must collect his item after the check. Okay, very good. Right, so why did the security want the, the passenger to raise his hand? Uh, because the security wanted to inspect him. Okay, remember, try to answer that in a more natural tone. Right, you're doing good, but the Singaporean accent is still there. I can still hear it, so try to be more natural. Because the security wanted to inspect his body. Can you say that again? Because the security wanted to inspect, in, inspect. That's right, inspect his body. Inspect his body. That's right, right. Uh, try to make the sentence uh, with a lot more intonation, up and down, up and down. Because the security wants to inspect his body, right? his body. Because the security wants to inspect his body. Okay, that sounds better now, okay? Don't worry, I, I already told you from the start of this course, like if you still speak in the Singaporean accent, it is okay. But if you want to uh, sound more natural, more American-like, you need to change a little bit, okay? I always want to change, but I don't know how to change. No, no. <laughs> um, you just need to add more intonation in your speak and uh, well, you, the first thing you need to know is you need to know the difference between the Singaporean accent and the American accent, right? Khi mình nghe tiếng Anh, mình sẽ nghe được cái giọng đặc trưng của người Singapore với cả đặc, giọng đặc trưng của người Anh, người Anh Mỹ. Đó, thì mình sẽ biết được là à, mình phải sửa những gì. Đó, giống như cái chữ mà hồi xưa mà mình hay đọc lộn mà em có sửa hòa đó là father, mother. Là em đang đọc với giọng rất là ngang luôn. Còn khi mà đến với người Singapore thì sao? Họ sẽ nhấn âm nhiều hơn là Father, mother, is something like that, oh. right? Father, mother. Right. Trong tiếng Anh cũng có nhấn âm luôn, nhưng mà cái cách nhấn âm của nó sẽ khác hẳn với người Singapore. Đó, là cái cách nhấn âm của người Mỹ là nó thường là nhấn bằng uh, cái dấu sắc giống trong tiếng Việt mình đó chị Hiền. À, chị. Còn uh, trong uh, của người Singapore thì nó sẽ nhấn bằng dấu huyền. Đúng không? Uh. Father, mother thì nó sẽ nhấn bằng dấu huyền. Còn tiếng Anh thì nó sẽ nhấn bằng dấu sắc. Father. Mother, đó. something like that. That that's that that's the thing I learned for after a, a lot of time talking to you. <laughs> right. It's okay, it's okay, because you're also learning something new every day, right? I am at the age that I I, I am no, I'm still at the age of learning. So many people say that, oh, you're teaching. Why are you still learning? Uh, I tell them that. Uh, 
teaching doesn't mean that I stop learning because there will always be knowledge that uh, I haven't learned before. If I learn them and I share it to you, that is the correct way of teaching. Yep. Okay, so there's another task here. Right, there's another task here, but uh, first I would like to stop sharing for a moment and I want to fix it first. Okay, so have you done this listening part? Uh, muốn có làm cái phần nghe này chưa chị nhỉ? Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, you have done it. Remember, there's always a object after the word done. Right, okay. Uh, what is it? Right, so I will check your answer a little bit. All right. Oh, wrong, wrong slide, <laughs> wrong slide, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I will not turn on the uh, the audio because I, I know that you already listened to it. Right, so uh, people are talking about flights. Listen and check their opinions about each flight, right? So the first person said the airport is not good. How about the flight? What did the first person say? The flight is okay. Okay, the flight flight is okay. Very good. Okay, how about the food? The food not the food not good. Ah, uh, the food is not good. Remember, always <laughs> yeah. The, the food the, not good. That's right. The food is not good, and the service. The service is good. No, the service is good. Okay. Right. Okay, so can you summarize the second co passenger comment about the airport, the flight, the food, and the service? The second passenger, the airport is good. Okay, the airport is good, right? The flight is good. The flight is good, that's right. The food is okay. The food is okay. The service is not good. The service is not good, thank you. Right. Okay. The third person. The third passenger. The airport is okay. Good. The flight is good. Flight is good, right? The food is good. Okay. Correct. Very good. The service is not good. Okay. Super awesome. Right. Almost everything here is correct. Okay. Last person. Last passenger. Last passenger. The airport. It's okay. Okay. The flight is not good. Oh, the flight is not good. Okay, that's too bad. Okay, the food is good and the service is good. Okay, very good. You have every like correct answer. You have all the correct answers. Right. Okay, so what is your opinion about uh, uh, airplane food? I want to hear that. What is your opinion about airplane food? It depends on which airlines we think. Okay. Uh, some airlines, the food really very nice, have standard. Some airlines we totally cannot eat. Totally cannot eat. Wow. Like because they are very dry or very tasteless. Mm, yeah, kind of dry and tasteless and, and uh, how to say it? Cold. Cold or dry? That's it. Cold or dry? Or that? Uh, Okay, dry and tasteless, tức là khô và không có mùi vị gì cả. <cười> right, I, I actually kind of wonder like how, like why won't they serve hot food like uh, on the ground? Is there anything that uh, stopping them from serving hot food like from the, like on the ground? I think uh, they have the machine or kind of machine that keep the food very hot. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, like Vietnam Airlines, Singapore mm. Airlines, I took and I feel the food is really have standard, really nice. Uh, the food has very good standard. Okay, so in some say uh, in some airlines, the food is not good at all, right? So are we allowed to bring our own food on the airplane? No, I don't oh. think so. Even our drink also not allowed. Oh, okay. So we have to order everything on the plane. So is the food on the plane included in the uh, ticket price? Also depend on uh, what um, type of ticket you buy. Uh, okay, so if it's first class uh, or business class, like the, the food is already included. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, like 
oh no, you know, in my opinions, like, like from my on, experience, <laughs> yeah, based on my experience, like, uh, the allies, like, um, Vietnam allies, or what you you don't need to choose which kind of ticket you you buy, and all kind of ticket have have uh, they included the, the meal, ah, okay, all kinds of tickets. You can say that uh, the meals are already included, that the meals are included in all the tickets, in all types yeah. of tickets. Right. Yes. Okay, good. Right. Some You need to remember to use the passive form sometimes. Like most of the time when talking to you, you are uh, you're mostly using the active form. Right. Sometimes yeah. you can also use the passive form as well to make your sentences more lively. Right. Okay. Tức là cái, cái chữ mà include, tức là cái gì nó include là Tức là cái chuyến bay nó bao gồm cái giá vé đúng không? Cái chuyến bay bao gồm giá vé của thức ăn luôn Thì à, nếu như mà mình xác định coi là cái đó nó có thực hiện được các hành động include không Thì mình thấy không được Cho nên mình phải đổ về bị động Đó là cái thức ăn được bao gồm ở trong cái à, chuyến bay đó okay. the, meals, the meals are included in the ticket price Something like that Ok, wow Okay, now we come to the part where I can get, get to ask you a lot about the hotel because you have because like we talked uh, in the previous lessons, you said that you uh, spend most of your time, not most of your time, you spend a lot of time in the Marina Bay Hotel, right? So this will be an interesting topic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so today we will be learning some vocabulary about hotel and hotel services, right? Okay. Teacher, I have a question. I have a request. I don't know how to say that, but I have something to say. Yes. <laughs> uh, the time, the time, um, the Ben Bentado asked me about like what subject I want to learn in the next, in the next, uh, how to next, say in the ne next course, right? You mean next uh, course? Next course, yeah. Mm -hmm. I say that I want to learn about sale and, and sale and management. I think so. Ah, uh, sale and management. But I think that's that's that subject is too heavy for me. Oh, can really? I, can it's too like um hospital hosp Ho hospitality hospital. hospitality uh, hospitality and traveling or kind of like lighter yeah. for me. <laughs> yes, I think I think I can. Like after we finish the the, the ending test of this course, I will uh, inform the uh, management team. I will all I will uh, inform the development team so that they know that you wanted to uh, take on the hospitality and traveling course. Yeah, right? thank you. Right. The last time I just think that I want to do something to challenge myself, but I find out that it's really very heavy <laughs> for me. Yeah, because if you want to take on the sales and management course, you need to be in the sales and management mm -hmm. um, uh, field already, right? Okay. Because, yeah. because in that case, uh, all the vocabularies will be easier for you to understand. But because mm -hmm. you're not in the sales and management, uh, sales and purchasing, sales and purchasing cor course or field, uh, it will be difficult for you. Right, we have some of the uh, fields here, sales and purchasing, uh, accounting, uh, marketing and advertising, office skills. Right, oh, we only have some something like that. Okay, I will say tell you again, sales yep. and purchasing, sales and purchasing, rồi nó sẽ nói về những cái liên quan đến công việc sale, công việc đặt hàng, hiểu chưa? Yeah. Rồi, uh, we will have accounting, cái này là kế toán, kế toán. Ở trong này mình sẽ uh, học từ vựng liên quan đến ngành kế toán. Rồi và các yếu tố quan trọng trong báo cáo tài chính, cái đấy thì rất là khó. Uh, marketing and advertising, marketing and advertising. Rồi cái này nó sẽ liên quan đến uh, mình có thể học, mình có thể làm được gì trong ngành marketing, mình sẽ làm được những gì trong ngành marketing, cái cách thực hiện một cái chiến dịch marketing như thế nào. Mm. Sounds interesting but also very difficult if you don't yeah. uh, if, if, if you don't have the uh, uh, college degree for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, we have something like office skills in the pan expanding course, office skills. You will learn topics like arrange a meeting, how to arrange a meeting for your boss and the other 
uh, employee in the company, right? You will learn how to confirm a meeting by an by email, right? You you organize a meeting, you invite everybody to the meeting through email. You will learn how to write that, uh, and other stuff like uh, other stuff like presenting the problem inside a meeting, right? Reporting for the uh, company, right? Mm -hmm. Asking for comments and contribution, right? Mm -hmm. And you will also, also learn how to debate uh, about a problem by saying, agreeing or disagreeing. Mm -hmm. right. So right, so you will need to um, ask Mrs. S. Hill again for all the information about the pan pan expanding courses. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank right. you, teacher. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Right. Okay, so I will go back to our lesson today, twenty one. You're still seeing the uh, uh the the PowerPoint, right? Good. Right. Okay, I will say it again. Today we will be learning some vocabularies about hotels and hotel services. Right. You will also learn the correct way to book a room in a hotel. Um, I think this lesson will be very easy for you because you have been in and out of a hotel for a very long time. Right. Okay. Right. So can you read the first word for me, please? Reservation. Ah, okay. You're reading it in the Singaporean accent. Right. Here. Look at here. This is the IPA. This is the IPA transcription. They say like a hướng dẫn phát âm trên mình phiên âm. Đầu tiên là âm e. Đó nguyên âm e. Sau đó tới âm ơ. Rồi lại với nguyên âm đôi a. Và cuối cùng là nguyên âm nguyên âm đơn ơ. E ơ a an. Reservation. That's right. Reservation. Rồi cái chữ dơ này mình ngang dặm trước em nhé. Reservation. Reservation. That's right. It sounds more natural now. Reservation. One more time. Reservation. That's right. Reservation. Good job. So they said here sự giữ chỗ or you can say đặt phòng, right? Reservation. Uh, hello, I would like to make a reservation, right? Hello, I would like to make a reservation. This word can be used to book a hotel room or a, a table at a restaurant, right? Okay, next word, e -e -e. E -e -e. Resident. That's right, resident. Remember, first stress, resident. Resident. That's right, cư chú, thường chú, hoặc là mình hiểu đây là cư dân sinh sống ở đây. Rồi, từ này rất là dễ rồi, âm u ngắm. Book. Book. That's right, good. Right, so here is a very interesting word. A, U, N. A, U, A. A, U, A. Confusion. That's right, confusion. Ah, oh, but like you mispronounce the, uh, the, the, this sound right here. It is not shun, right? Shun, shun, nó sẽ là cái âm này, cơ chị. Shun, nó sẽ là cái này. Uh -huh. Còn cái này thì nó là để miệng giống cái chữ sần nhưng mà mình rung vào cổ họng thôi, mình không để gió này. Dần. Dần. À, em miệng, miệng, miệng giống như chữ sần nha, miệng giống như chữ sần. Dần. Confusion. À, that's right, confusion. 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 Not sần. Dần, rung vào cổ họng. Confusion. Confusion. Dần. Confusion. Confusion. That's right. Very good. Good. Right. Okay. Remember, this is a con. Con. Tức là ở đây đang có một âm n. Confusion. Confusion. Okay. That's right. That's right. You be good. Confusion. Okay. So learning pronunciation at first seems very difficult, but if you get the hang of it, if you know the way to do it, you know the con how to control your tongue, your mouth shape and your teeth, right? You will learn it very easily. Confusion. Confusion. Okay, faster, confusion. Confusion. Okay, very good, right. Confusion ở đây là sự nhầm lẫn, sự lộn xộn hoặc là gây bối rối, gây hoang mang, right? For example, if you go to a hotel and you book a room, but then they give you the wrong room, right? It means that they, may, they have a confusion. Right, then have a confusion. Right. Okay, next word, feedback. Feedback. Okay, very good. Check in, check out, pay the bill. This is very easy, right? Okay. Right. 
reception desk. Reception desk. Okay, desk. Reception desk. Okay, faster. Reception desk. Reception desk. Okay, very good. Right, restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, very good. Right. So I don't. Uh, does the Marina Bay Hotel have a lobby bar? Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, okay. That's new to me because most of the hotels in Ho Chi Minh City I've been to doesn't have, I don't have a lobby bar at all, right? They will have a bar inside the hotel in somewhere very, uh, like, very secluded. <laughs> like, oh, really? No, I, I, I see. I see. At other, other hotel, they have a lobby bar. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, no, not not the ones I have been to though. Maybe uh, maybe I maybe I have been to the cheap hotels. They don't have a lobby bar. Uh, oh, because, okay. Because a uh, lobby bar seems to be seems to be very expensive, and they only put uh, the lobby bar in some expensive hotels. I guess. Oh. Yeah. Okay, like two star or three star hotels, you cannot expect them to have lobby bar there. But if two star entries. Like like below three stars, we call it motel. hostel. A hostel, really? Oh, okay. Right. So actually, I don't. I uh, I don't. I I would still call the two star and three star hotel, but I will call a hotel a hostel based on their services. Based on their services. Uh, yeah. So like, if they if they have many things. Uh, if, if they have most of the thing a uh, normal hotel should have, I will call them hotel. But if they don't, I will call I will just call them a hostel. Right. Something like room service, right? Room service, like cleaning every hour, or uh something like food, like ready, ready to go food. Right. Okay, next corridor. 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 Okay. Okay, can you check for me? Uh if the corridor pronunciation, the last sound is a e, e, or or something like this. I, I'm looking forward to see something corridor. Corridor. Is this something like this? Corridor. Is it like this? Uh, no, my one in. Is this something yeah. like this? This, this, or this? Not like as a o như vậy, chữ e lộn rồi. The second one. Oh, the second one. Okay. Okay, so it is corridor. 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 Okay, right. I always have a mistake between the corridor, like the, the R, the R sound here, or the E sound. E lộn ngược. Cái E, cái e lộn ngược nó sẽ là âm E ngắn. Còn cái dấu mũ này nó sẽ là âm E. E thì mình nói to miệng hơn. E. Còn đúng rồi. Còn âm E ngắn thì mình nhỏ miệng hơn thôi. E. Đó. E và E. Not something like that, and this is all, 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 corridor. like corridor. That's right. Sometimes I have to check the pronunciation. Sorry, <laughs> right? Corridor, la han lang, right? Okay, and now we have the guest room from tip cup guest room, yes, right? Okay, and we also have a sitting room that has the meaning, same meaning as guest room, right. So when you go and book a room in a hotel, you will be asked like, would you like a single room or a double room, right? A single room or a double room, right? Or a twin room and a triple room, right? A single room meaning a, a room with one bed for one person, a double room meaning one, uh, one room with a bed for two people, right? Twin room, is a room for two single beds, right? A triple room is a room with three single beds, right? And there's a special room like a connecting room or a family room, right? Oh, okay. Then we have a chambermaid, chambermaid. Chambermaid. Okay, so this word is actually kind of old, like normally not many people use this anymore. People would just call someone who uh, clean your room and offer you services, a maid, a maid. 
Này. Dạ, yeah, maid có nghĩa là hầu gái hoặc là phục vụ phòng. Ừ. Phải. Chamber, nó, nó gọi là phục vụ phòng luôn bởi vì cái chữ chamber này chị này. Chamber ở đây là cái phòng riêng. Chamber là một căn phòng ừ. riêng. Phải. Còn maid ở đây là người phục vụ và thì người phục vụ phòng thì gọi là chamber maid. But it's actually quite kind of old. Like normally we we won't uh, call anyone who works in this position a chamber maid anymore. We would call them a maid or a room service assistant, something like that. Room service assistant. Right, a housekeeper. Okay, housekeeper. Um, housekeeper is actually the same as chamber maid. Actually the same, right? Uh, these two will be in charge of cleaning your room, changing your bed sheets, right? cleaning your room, changing your bed sheets and offer you some free services from the hotel. Yeah. Right, okay. Right, public attendant. Public attendant. Public attendant. Okay, so this is actually quite new to me. So uh, have you ever heard of this position before? Public attendant. In hotel? Yeah, in the hotel. Uh, I think that yeah, the those people who clean them like lobby uh -huh. everything outside of the room uh -huh. maybe. okay right so it, it they, they use a different word here i just call them uh mr a uh, janitor i just call i just call them mr or mrs janitor Cô hoặc là chú lao công. oh yeah. yeah yeah i just call them mr or miss janitor i just call them lao, uh, cô chú lao công. Uh, but then they have a special they have a uh, like a, a different name here, public attendant. I see. Very interesting. Right. Right. Janitor. 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 Okay, good. Receptionist. Receptionist. Okay, good. Someone who works at the reception desk. Right. Okay. So here we have a doorman or door girl. Can you say it? Doorman. Doorman. Okay, door girl. Door girl. Okay, a doorman. Uh, usually you will see a doorman more than a door girl, right? In a hotel, right? Duties manager. Duties manager. Okay, good. Duties manager, right? Tiền sảnh, right? So this person mostly works uh, in the in the lobby, right? In the lobby or around the reception desk where you can easily ask for the manager. It's like sometimes if you're not satisfied with the services in the hotel, you just go to the reception desk and ask like, hey, I want to talk to your manager. And this person will come first to talk to you. Right. Okay. How to book a hotel room. Here are some of the common sentences you can use to book a hotel room. Make a reservation. This is very common. This is the most common question sentence to use when make when uh, booking a hotel room. I would like uh, instead of saying I would like, you say I'd I'd like I'd like. Yeah, I'd like to make a reservation. Can you say that? I'd like to make a reservation. Okay, very good. I'd like to make a reservation. Or you can say, I'd like to book a room. I'd like to book a room. Okay, very good. Right. And you can change a room into the type of room you want and add four plus the time you want to stay at the hotel. Can you say it? I'd like to book a double room for December 15th. That's right. Okay, this is double. Can you say that again? Double. Double. Okay, one more time. I'd like to book a double room for December 15th. I'd like to book a double room for December 15th. Okay, sounds more natural now. Okay, good. Right. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Because I never booked a room before. <laughs> oh, right. You have never booked a room before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's okay, so your husband is the one who books all the room, right? Oh, yeah, okay. I always book through the app, like the, the website. Oh, like Trivago, Hotel Trivago, yeah. something like that. Oh, <laughs> right, okay, yes, it was nice. Okay, yeah, I, I totally forgot that we have the booking apps now. Mm. 
Rồi. Right. But it's good and helpful actually. It's, it's helpful, yes. Right. Like if the if next time you want to book a room like uh, without using the app, you can actually say these lines. Right. Mm, yeah. Right. So here you don't actually tell them the exact days you want to stay. You just tell them the amount of days you will be staying in. You use four plus the amount of days, the amount of time, right? Mình dùng for cộng với khoảng thời gian. Đó. I'd like to book a room. This is book, not look, okay? There's a mistake. I'd like to book a room for the next six days. Can you say it? I'd like to book a room for the next six days. That's right. Okay, good. All right. I need a room. Okay, so instead of saying I'd like to book, you're using the word need. It is less formal, not thiếu sự tranh trọng hơn. Like, I need room for tonight or tomorrow. Right. So usually you will need you will need to uh, add the uh, right here. I need a room for tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Right. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is the video I would like you to watch after this class end. And now we are going to move on to the move on to the task right here, a small task. Right. Which number in a hotel do you call for the following services? Right. So in inside the hotel, there usually will be a telephone, right? You pick up the telephone and they will tell you to dial which number for which services, right? Mình sẽ quay một cái số nào đó để chọn một cái dịch vụ chính xác. Okay, so this man is asking for some services. Please help them dial the correct number. Okay. Right. Okay, so he's he wants to get his clothes dry cleaned. Which number does he dial? Dial nine. Okay, dial number nine. Very good. Right. Okay. So he wants to, uh, he wants you to carry his bag. Which number should he dial? Dial number six. That's right. Dial number six. Why there is a bell here? What is a bell here? Do you know? Bell. Bell man. Ah, that's right. So there is a man who who whose job is to carry uh customer luggage or baggage right he will put them inside a cage that looks like uh, inside a trolley inside a trolley that looks like a bell right mm -hmm. so, so that's why this is called a bell and the and the person who is in charge of all the bell men are called bell captain is called bell captain right okay so he wants to get his clue his room cleaned he should call the number Number 10. Number 10. Okay, right. So he wants to make a long distance call. He should call the number seven. Number seven. He should call number seven. Operator. So operator ở đây là người điều hành. Người điều hành. Right. So usually the telephone inside the hotel can only call certain numbers inside the hotel only. So if you want to call to someone that lives Uh, far away from you, you should call the operator first, and he will connect you to that person. Right. And to check if you have received mail, he should call number five. Number five. Okay, very good. Right. Okay, so this is easy, right? This is easy. Okay, now we'll come to the part where I ask and you answer. I ask and you answer. Right. Have you ever booked a room online? <laughs> <laughs> Many uh, times, right? Yeah, I think so. But like you you were the one who booked it or your husband was the one who booked it? My husband was the one who booked it. Okay, right. But um right, but have you but what do you know about online booking? What do you know about online booking? I found online booking sound like cheaper. Oh, easier. cheaper. Uh, uh -huh. And, uh, and um, flexible, like um, can cancel and um, cancel the room or um, 
or information are there, we don't need to call someone and ask for so much information about the hotel. Because ah. all the information about the hotel, the price, or even the uh, whether it's free cancellation or not, all there, we just need to uh, do by ourselves. Okay. Okay, that's right. You just need to prepare yourself before entering the hotel, right? Because all the information, like you said, are already available on the website. Good. Right. So uh, if you right, if the pandemic ends, will you still or will, will you still uh, do online booking or do you prefer to go uh, offline booking? Uh in Vietnam, I book many room many time in Vietnam uh, by phone, but in Vietnamese. Okay. So yeah, um, I still book the room in Vietnamese, uh, maybe through phone. But for like overseas, like if uh, I'm in uh, Singapore, I, I want to book uh, the room in uh, Thailand or somewhere, some other country. So we, we can just call and book. Ah, okay, right. Yeah. Right. Right. When was your last vacation? <laughs> when was your last vacation? I think that, that was two years ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, two years ago. Okay, I, I thought that you would say that around two weeks ago when you visited the Marina Bay Hotel. Would you call that a vacation? No, we call that staycation. Staycation, right. Okay. So two years ago, where did you go on your vacation? Uh, I went to um, Salong Bay and Sapa. Ah, that's right. Okay. You already told me, right? Salong Bay and Sapa, right. I was surprised when you didn't choose to go to bigger countries, but you chose to go to Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't worry. Okay. Right, have you been in such a confusing situation? Right here, Miss Kim, confusing here is an adjective. And you see that they are using the ing ending. So it is describing the characteristic of a noun of a situation. Đó, nó đang mô tả cái tính chất của một sự vật sự việc. Đó, còn nó không mô tả cái cảm xúc của mình. Right. Tức là cái sự việc này nó đang uh, nó đang rối bời, nó đang vô cùng lộn xộn, nó đang gây hiểu nhầm rất nhiều. Vậy thì còn mô tả cảm xúc của mình, mình sẽ sử dụng đuôi nào nha chị nhỉ? Confused. E Confused. Confused. Yes. Like like when when you when you book the hotel room on the phone, the other person is talking in Uh, Chinese and is speaking in Chinese and you're like oh my god I'm so confused what are you talking about right yeah. or they're speaking English but their accent is not good and you're like oh my god I'm so confused how can I understand you see confused here là mình cảm thấy bối rối cảm thấy bối rối chưa? còn confusing này mình nhớ tính từ mà nó có đuôi in ở cuối là nó đang mô tả tính chất của sự vật sự việc Vậy thì tính chất của tình huống này đó là rất là bối rối hoặc là rất là lộn xộn. So can I say like someone say something make me like I don't really understand. Can I say that uh, you are confusing me? <laughs> That's right. You are saying that because confusing here is a verb, right? They are confusing me, right? Ở trong này thì mình nếu xét vào ngữ pháp thì confuse này nó đang là nó đang là gì ạ? À? Là verb in, đúng không ạ? À? Tức là đây là thì thì cái cái thì này hôm bữa mình mới ôn tập xong trước khi thi này thì ôn thì này thì gì nhỉ? Uh, um, hiện tại tiếp diễn. That's right, hiện tại tiếp diễn đúng rồi, họ nó có một cái to be ở đây và nó có thêm cả một cái verb in nữa thì đủ để tạo thành thì hiện tại tiếp diễn rồi, confusing đây là verb. Vậy thì ở đây mình dịch từ cái động từ chính đó là làm ai bối rối đúng không? Làm ai bối rối hoặc là làm ai cảm thấy Uh, khó hiểu đó thì đó là chữ confused đổi thành là confusing me đó they are confusing me right but right here if you look at this sentence you will see that a confusing situation mình thấy đã được mình đã thấy được chữ ở rồi vậy thì đằng sau chữ ở sẽ là một danh từ đúng không ạ 
Rồi, đằng sau chữ ờ chắc chắn phải là một danh từ và trong cụm danh từ thì tính từ có thể đứng trước danh từ chính. Rồi, I always tell you that uh, an adjective can stand before a noun. Is that right? Okay, right. Rồi, so have you ever been in such a confusing situation? Many times. Many times. Okay, so what, uh, which situation do you remember the most? Like uh, someone say something and I don't really understand. Right, okay, so try to make the situation uh, smaller, like when you are in a hotel, yeah, when you are in a hotel or when you are traveling. Right. Oh, um, confusing. Um, I am. Um, I was pressing the the button that put um clean clean the room because ah. in the door of the room the hotel room always have two button that one one is uh do not disturb and ah. one is clean uh clean my room. Then I I I. At night, when I come back to my room and I press wrong to the bleed clean my room, then the next day, 6 a.m., the person, the, the cleaner, how to call it? Housekeeper or a maid? Housekeeper, yeah. A housekeeper just uh, go straight to my room and then, then, <laughs> then even never knock the door because they thought that I am, um, I already went out. Because ah. I press the please clean my room, mean that. Uh, I, I, I just need them to clean the room and I, I already outside. So they just come to my room and then they start sleeping there. Oh my <laughs> and God. Then they, oh, they say, oh, sorry that I remember that I pressed the wrong button. I say, oh, I'm sorry. I think I pressed the wrong button that made you. <laughs> <laughs> then they, they then they ask me so what time you want me to clean your room I say oh 2 p.m or whatever like that ah. they say, okay. <laughs> okay right oh that that was very confusing right <laughs> right uh, it, uh, it, it's it's good that they didn't ask for like charge that didn't ask for charge tức là họ không có đòi thêm phí bởi vì mình, mình, mình bấm nhầm <laughs> right okay <laughs> okay um do you feel actually comfortable when living alone? Like imagine not living with your husband, but living on your own. So do you feel comfortable doing that? Yes, I always oh. feel comfortable when living alone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to live alone before I married my husband too. Ah, but that's, that's right, that's right. But like uh, after entering the marriage life, do you think that you can actually live without your husband? Do you think you can? Okay, I think all of us can live without someone like. Right. We, we are not like I mean, like one person and separate become two. We totally two person, a different person, and we just live together. Mm, it's not that. we have to stick together. Right. Uh, but but for some someone like me, I uh well, I am living with my family right now. But if you put me uh inside an apartment alone in saigon i would feel very very sad i need emotional support <laughs> okay, I see. yeah i need emotional support a lot like last night i had a meltdown oh right do you know do you know a meltdown i don't know so a meltdown is uh, a situation where all of your emotions just came out like very uh, very strong and uh, very overwhelming that right? all of your emotions just pour out of your body so you cry you want to talk to somebody you need someone to support you at that time you can be angry you can be sad you can be upset every negative emotion just surround you at, at that time so that means you had a meltdown right <laughs> right so Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally okay now. It's just that last night there was so many stressful things that I had a meltdown. So when I had a meltdown in the middle of the night, no one was there to listen to me. I was, uh, obviously I was very angry and upset. So I need someone to talk to me at that time. So I wake everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no, not not my mom. I, I let I let my mom sleep, but uh, I wake all of my friends up uh, using messenger, oh. and I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, you people wake up! I need emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> see see th that is why i cannot live alone i cannot live alone i need someone to be there with me so mm -hmm. i need a roommate who understand me or i need uh someone who will uh be my emotional support yeah I see. right okay mm -hmm. but if we don't talk about the uh, emotion aspect if we talk if we were talking about uh other aspects like uh housekeeping or cooking or uh raise or like uh managing the house just like that uh i think you will feel comfortable living alone nếu như mà mình nói về những cái mặt khác như là chăm sóc nhà cửa thôi ấy thì chắc chắn là mình vẫn cảm thấy là ổn khi mà sống một mình đúng không ạ à? yeah ok right ok post speaking Ooh. <cười> right Make a conversation to book a hotel room based on these information, right? So imagine that you are going to book a hotel room by phone, by telephoning me, right? So here are the forms for you to fill in, right? You have to tell me your full name, your day, check in, check out. Uh, which room do you want to book? Like what, what kind of price do you want to book, right? And uh, uh, the special condition like smoking or non smoking, right? And you can leave your phone number here. Like you don't have to leave the real, real phone number, just uh, use a fake phone number. Right. Imagine I am the hotel staff and now you can start calling me, okay? All right. Okay, just start, just start. Uh, hello, I would like to book a room. Oh, no, sorry, this one. Uh, I'd like to book a double room from five days later. Uh, from the, for the next five days. Can you say uh, for, for the next five, five days? Okay, so you, five. okay for the next five days. So you are booking uh, a double room for the next five days, right? Um, we are having two kind or we're having two special kinds of double rooms right here in our hotel right uh, the first room is about uh, $30 per night this uh, the second type is $50 per night right uh, would you like to know the information about these two kinds of bedrooms yes i'd like to know what what different between these two price of rooms uh, Right, so for the for the first room, uh, thirty dollars per night, you will have a free entrance to our uh to you will have a free entrance to our uh, our bar, our hotel bar, right? And the first two drinks with your uh, partner are free. The first two drinks are free, and for the second double room, fifty dollars per night. Uh, you will also have. Uh, the free entrance to the bar first two drinks are free but you also uh, get to uh, have free dessert for the dinner at the hotel free dessert at uh, dinner at the hotel and the free entrance uh, on the top on how to say on the top uh that's right that's right you will you will have the uh, you can en enter the uh, rooftop uh rooftop swimming pool right okay so i'd like to get the 50 dollars per night okay 50 dollars per night double bedroom right so uh uh, may I may I ask, do you and your partner smoke? Because we are, we will give you uh, the smoking or known smoking rooms based on your information. I uh, I don't need the smoking room. I will get the non smoking room. Okay, right, right. Thank you so much. In order to complete the reservation, please put your phone number inside the registration card, and we will uh, contact. We will uh, we will make the confirmation and uh, send you the uh, information as soon as possible. Yeah. Right. My number is 9436-5560. Right, thank you so much. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. You actually did a good job because you could listen to me describing the rooms and telling the price, right? Okay, that is perfect. Right. 
Okay, so now you will be confident in booking a room at any kind of hotel because you already know the services, the uh, vocabulary, the question to uh, ask for a room. Okay, right. Right, so uh, after this class, we will have uh, we, we have some listening uh, practice and I also want you to listen to the uh, to, to this video like like we always do, okay? Yep. Right. Okay, so I think I should end the class now and I will see you again on Monday. See you, teacher. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye.